Our God is great above all gods, the ruler of creation. In your hands are all the earth, and seas for you have made them. Good evening, afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Wednesday, April the 9th. It's the fifth week after Lent, or the fifth week in Lent, and the scripture for this service, Psalms 140 and 142 and Exodus chapter 7, verse 25, to chapter 8, verse 19. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Deliver me, O oh God, from the wicked, Preserve me from the violent. Psalms 140 and 142. Deliver me, O God, from the wicked. Preserve me from the violent, which plot evil in their hearts. They are gathered together for war. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Adder's poison is under their lips. Keep me from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent who have planned to overthrow me. The proud have hid a snare for me and ropes. They have spread a net by the wayside. They have set traps for me. You are by God, hear my appeal. O God most high, the strength of my salvation, you have shielded my head in the battle. Grant not the desires of the wicked. Let not their plots succeed, lest they exalt themselves. As for the head of those that circle around me, let the mischief of their own words destroy them. Let burning coals fall upon them, cast them into deep pits of fire, never to rise again. Let not the slanderer be established in the earth. Evil shall hunt the violent to overthrow them. I know that you will maintain the cause of the afflicted and the right of the poor. Surely the righteous shall thank you. The upright shall dwell in your presence. I cried to you aloud. With my voice I made my prayer. I poured out my complaint before you, and I showed you my trouble. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then you knew my path. In the way where I have walked, they secretly laid a snare for me. I looked to my right, but there were none that would know me. Refuge failed me. No one cared for my soul. And I appealed to you, O God. I said, you are my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. Attend my prayer, for I am brought low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than me. Bringing my soul out of prison, that I might praise your name. The righteous shall surround me for you shall deal generously with me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Deliver me, O God, from the wicked, and preserve me from the violent. A reading from Exodus chapter 7, beginning at verse 25. Seven days passed after the Most High struck the Nile. And then the Most High said to Moses, Go to Pharaoh and say to him, Thus says the Most High, Let my people go, so that they may worship me. If you refuse to let them go, I will plague your whole country with frogs. The river shall swarm with frogs. They shall come up into your palace, into your bedchamber, and into your bed and into the houses of your officials and your people, and into your ovens and your kneading bowls. The frogs shall come up on you and on your people and on all your officials. And the Most High said to Moses, Say to Aaron, Stretch out your hand with your staff over the rivers, the canals, and the pools, and make frogs come up on the land of Egypt. 
And so Aaron stretched out his hand over the waters of Egypt, and the frogs came up and covered the land. But the magicians did the same by their secret arts and brought frogs up on the land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh called Moses and Aaron and said, Pray to the Most High to take away the frogs from me and my people, and I will let the people go to sacrifice to the Most High. Moses said to Pharaoh, Kindly tell me when I am to pray for you and for your officials and for your people, that the frogs may be removed. And Pharaoh said, Tomorrow. And Moses said, As you say, so that you may know that there is no one like Yahweh our God. The frogs shall leave you and your houses and your officials and your people. They, they shall be left only in the Nile. And then Moses and Aaron went out from Pharaoh, and Moses cried out to the Most High concerning the frogs that he had brought upon Pharaoh. And the Most High did as Moses requested. The frogs died in the houses, the courtyards, and the fields, and they gathered them together in heaps, and the land stank. But when Pharaoh saw that there was a respite, he hardened his heart and would not listen to them just as the Most High said he would. Then the Most High said to Moses, Say to Aaron, Stretch out your staff and strike the dust of the earth, so that it may become gnats throughout the whole land of Egypt. And they did so. Aaron stretched out his hand with his staff and struck the dust of the earth, and gnats came on humans and animals alike. All the dust of the earth turned into gnats throughout the whole land of Egypt. The magicians tried to produce gnats by their secret arts, but they could not. There were gnats on both humans and animals, and the magicians said to Pharaoh, This is the finger of God. But Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he would not listen to them, just as the Most High said he would. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation, that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth and your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. And for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. O oh God, keep us safe in times of trouble and times of violence and guard us from all evil. May we abide in your presence and give you all glory forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.